I'm Mac Holiday with Holiday What TV. I celebrate holidays all the days on YouTube. For example, today, June 12th, is Crowded Nest Awareness Day. Anybody know what this is about? Anyone live in a crowded nest? Do you know what it is? If you're a parent, for example, and your child moves back in with you, or you're a grandparent raising your grandkids, or maybe you're an adult kid and, and your parent moves in with you, and then, and then it's all this craziness happening. Anyone have a similar thing happen to them? Well, today we, we must give support to those with crowded nest syndrome. And we must close our eyes for two seconds and send them a little prayer. Give them some, some humor and love on this day for them, okay? Close your eyes, one, two. Okay, I feel better now. Also, today is also Loving Day. Yes, do you know what Loving Day is about? Yeah. It may not be though exactly what you think. What's cool about these holidays is it's not just about the bizarre and the silly and the quirky. It is also, you're looking all very serious at me. Yeah. Huh? Um, it's also about, they can give you a window into American history. So let me tell you. So we have Mildred and Richard Loving. She's black, he's white, back in the early 60s. They get married in Washington, but they live in Virginia, where it's not legal to be married if you're an interracial couple. So they go back to Virginia. A couple days later, the authorities bust into their house and they're arrested and sentenced to jail for a year each. So they plead with the judge and they're allowed to skip the whole jail thing and just move to Washington. But they don't want to be in Washington. They love Virginia. They miss their family and their friends. So for five years, they're working with the courts and then on 1967 on this day loving versus virginia and they win thereby yes it's a big deal thereby ending the ban on multi on, on multi-racial interracial marriage uh in all states at that time it was 12 states that's loving day and according to time magazine today is the biggest day of the year for the celebration for multiracial couples i think it's a very big deal and what's also a big deal is we have this man here dusty trevino back from dot vegas do you remember this guy a little bit he was here just just a few weeks ago sponsor for downtown podcast four months once a month this is your june we're in June, yeah. yeah this is your June, June yeah, appearance. Yeah. So let's give them a quick little recap on the uh, Dot Vegas. Sure, yeah. Dot Vegas is a new top level domain. And a top level domain is anything that comes right on the dot. So most everybody's familiar with dot com, dot net, and dot org. Now there's actually going to be a dot Vegas on the internet. So you can get a web address that ends in dot Vegas. I love it. So now, Last time we talked, I remember there was a big launch happening for trademark holders. That's right. How did it go? So far, it's going really well. Yeah, uh, June 2nd, which was the last Monday, we launched. Uh, Come on, that's a big deal. Yeah. They launched on June 2nd. Where's the enthusiasm? Thank you. Okay, go on. Uh, yeah, and so it was for trademark holders only. Uh, but so far, we've seen very nice participation, especially from the local community. Like, give me examples. Uh, we've had a lot of the casinos coming in with Caesars, uh, Paris, New York, New York. I mean, see, very, that's, very that's very amazing. Yeah, Did right. you guys expect that that fast? Uh, not that fast. We're very pleased with how it's turned out. So I far. am very absolutely. impressed. Yeah, absolutely. That's a big deal. All right, so, um, so now why would someone in Vegas want or need a dot Vegas? Uh, you know, again, it's a great opportunity to brand yourself, your digital brand, with the city of Las Vegas. You know, mm -hmm. you know it, it not only is it a location, but it's a state of mind. It's, a, it's an image. And so it's a great opportunity, instead of getting a .com, to get a .vegas. And last we talked, uh, uh, we had a little meeting, and you were using fancy words like matrix and algorithms and things. And I don't know what all that means. Can you explain that to them? Sure. I mean, you know, one of the things we were talking about is the, the search engines, Google and Bing and stuff like that. One of the things they've, they've never looked at before is anything right on the dot, because it always ended in com. Right? Right? So now they're starting to actually look left or right of the dot to see on an organic search result, if you're searching locally, if you end in a dot Vegas, one of, the, one of the metrics in the algorithm will look right of the dot and potentially resolve higher than on a search criteria. Mm. Now here there are big implications for the city of Vegas if you have a dot Vegas. Yes. So tell me. Yeah, the tell city, them. The city, again, yeah. you know, on top of, again, being one of only four U.S. cities that actually has its own top level. Only right four now. have a only dot four. city. I mean, come on, that's big. Only Go. four. They also, it's, it's a great public-private partnership with us where they are generating, uh, they get received 10% of the revenue of, uh, of dot Vegas domain name sales. So the city of Vegas gets a 10% revenue if you have a dot Vegas. Exactly, yeah. So anytime we sell a dot Vegas domain name, the city gets 10% of that. I mean, that's cool, so. yeah. Yeah, applause. I like it. Yes. Very good, very good. Well, I want to thank you very much for being our sponsor for four months. I'm really excited to see you in July. Yes. yes. So thank you again, Dusty of Dot Vegas. Also want to remind of everybody here that tomorrow is Blame Someone Else Day. That's what tomorrow is. Yes. So, you know, just you can lie tomorrow. Something happens. You, you hit you, the rear end. You just blame that guy. It's okay for tomorrow. Happy holidays. I'm Mac Holiday. Good night.